Hey Google, turn on the wax warmer. See that? And any device that you plug in to here becomes smart after you configure it with the Meros app. Today we are going to be just doing a quick install of the smart Wi-Fi plug minis for your home or office. Now this is the US version, model number S. MSS110. So you can control lights, fans, humidifiers, portable heaters, any sort of small appliance with up to 15 amp output. And any device that you plug in to here becomes smart after you configure it with the Meros app. I'm going to show you how to set this up, how to install it, and how to get things going with Google Home, Alexa, or if this then that app. Now I like the fact that this design is very slim, which means you can stack two over and then they will still fit into one receptacle. One and then two and you still have space below so that's awesome and each one of these is going to work independent when you configure it with the app. Now to configure it it's actually quite easy there's a blinking light on here um, fast blinking, slow blinking so you essentially turn this on and off and this works like a regular switch so this sort of overrides the smart option so once you set this up with Google Home, for example, you can say, hey, Google, turn on uh, X light. And as long as this is the X light, it will turn it on. If for some reason your Google is not working or Alexa is not working, you can just head on over here, press this switch, and it will turn it off manually. To get into the sync mode, of course, you have to click and hold this for about three to four seconds until you start seeing the, the blinking. Then you simply load the uh, Meros app that you download on your smartphone. Make sure you are within, say, you know, two inches of it, and then go through the installation guide. Now, the installation guide is going to present you with several different options of what kind of receptacle you have, because they have tons and tons of wall switches and stuff. So pick the picture that sort of looks like this guy, and then follow through until you add the name, sync it, and all of that. Now, installation and setup on the actual Google or Alexa device is a lot of different, so we're not really gonna cover it. Um, you're going to have to sort of uh, Google some videos for that. But it's also really easy. Uh, simply just open up uh, Google Home. You need to have Google Home installed on your smartphone. Uh, click the Home app. And then there's a, a, a smart sort of button on there that allows you to add the manufacturer of the smart device, which in this case would be Meros. And then you again follow through the installation guide, assign these to different houses. Sorry, you're assigning these to different rooms, and, and on you go. And then very soon, you're going to have everything in your home smart controlled, which is, I'm telling you, it is a a godsend that is amazing to just control it's like star trek anyways so this is sort of how it works let's just kind of go through this procedure right now with our smartphone and i'm going to show you how this works on the tv well all you really need to do is uh, plug it in here this is a manual switch so you press this and as you can see it turns it on but we want to make this wireless so to do that we need to sync this and then whatever you plug it in here is going to be smart enabled so let's uh launch our app. Uh, you want to download the Meros app. All right, so we're going to launch our Meros app. Uh, you can see right here on the screen, there's a couple of things that are actually turn on and turn off. Blue means on, white means off. So we're going to add something new here. Okay, we're going to press Smart Plug Mini, because that's what the picture looks like. And now we're going to follow directions. The LED is not blinking, which means you need to go and click on the button and hold it for about four or five seconds. You can see that it's blinking, so now we're gonna head out and back to our app. Remember, you gotta be about three to six inches away from the device that you're setting up. And if you have multiple devices plugged in, uh, I would probably recommend you unplug one before you plug the next one in because you really won't know which one you're setting up because they have weird names attached to them. So now we name it because it picked that up, so we're gonna call this wax warmer because this is what we're plugging in and whatever you name this here is really what you're going to control when you speak to alexa or google so we're going to call it wax warmer done next now you can customize your icon in our case we're going to take a picture of you can crop it now we're going to save it and then that's going to become your thumbnails so it's easy to know now we go next now you're going to pick your wi-fi internet network and your password and click next it's going to click on and off 
and then it's going to keep flashing until it sets itself up. When it's done, it's going to be a solid green light. That's when you know it's complete. All right, and now it's complete. And if we scroll down on our marrows, we now have a wax warmer with a little picture. So now if we press this, you can hear this turning on and off. Because we already have Google set up around the entire house, this should already be linked up and synced up with our Google. So now we're basically going to say to Google to turn off the wax warmer and this should turn it off. I'm going to show you where my Google is. So in this room, it's located right here. So we'll say, hey, Google, turn off the wax warmer. Okay, turning the wax warmer off. Hey, Google, turn on the wax warmer. Okay, turning the wax warmer on. See that? Hey, Google, turn off the wax warmer. Okay. Turn That's how easy it is to set up a Maros smart Wi-Fi plug. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, click that bell. And if you're watching this on Amazon, please click that helpful button. It really does help. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.